We are here with President Dave Armstrong, who will be attending his first TMC opening this afternoon in the Eva G. Ferris Art Gallery. The show is Retrospective in Multiples, work by Sarah Frances Hollis. Uh, President Armstrong, as this is your first exhibit at TMC, we'd like to ask you a few questions. Absolutely. So what types of art do you find interesting? Um, I like uh, paintings, uh, and I like the Impressionist painters. I had a grade school teacher that uh, really uh, loved the Impressionist and basically ingrained in us a love for Impressionistic uh, artists and she said we would continue to love them the rest of our lives and it's actually been true. So I do like Impressionist painting, but I do like all kinds of different uh, mediums. Uh, sculpture I like, um, um, a lot of different interactive uh, art pieces I like, so I'm open to anything. Do you have a favorite artist? Uh, I, Renoir and Monet, probably. Okay. Um, although one of our alums, Jen Ann Harris, is an accomplished artist and I really like her pieces too. And she's a very impressionistic in her, her pieces. Okay. Do you feel it's important to bring outside artists into Thomas More? Absolutely. Uh, the only way to educate yourself is to uh, be open to the wider world. And when we talk about arts, we, we are a liberal arts college. And so the fine arts have to be a major part of what we do in educational experience. And it's sad that a lot of the uh, art programs in grade schools and high schools are being cut because uh, we all get so much out of art. And so we want to continue to bring uh, artists in. And the Ava Ferris Gallery enables us to do that. So we're so appreciative of her support. Okay. Um, do you have any artistic experience yourself? Absolutely not. Uh, I have no artistic <laughs> ability whatsoever. Uh, I cannot sing. I cannot. I, I've done a little acting, but uh, cannot draw. Cannot write. Um, uh, I actually, you know what? I'll back up. I used to write poetry back in the day. Okay. Long time ago, when I was trying to get my wife to like me. <laughs> Would you be willing to do a hands-on experience in a classroom? I don't want to, but I'd be willing to. And do you have a preference, like sculpting, ceramics? I'll try anything. Try anything? I'll try anything. Yeah, okay. I, I obviously have to expand my horizons and get out of my comfort zone. So, uh, actually, I, I like I like watching art. I like okay. looking at art. I like experiencing art. But I know that I need to start uh, doing art more often. So okay. I'm open to it. Um, but I may make a mess. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> what ideas do you have on how the art department can promote itself in the Thomas More community as well as the outside community? That's a great question. Uh, that's one of the, the initiatives that I want to embark on uh, in my time here at Thomas More College is to uh, enhance our art program. We have phenomenal faculty members in art who not only know the theory but also go out and do it themselves and they have great talent and I've seen their work and it's very special. We need to enhance our facilities, we need to bring more light to our facilities and I want to grow the program. Again, when we talk about liberal arts, fine arts are a big part of that. Okay. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. just having support. Um, the art program is kind of cramped right now, uh, just being aware of that, knowing that um, we pretty much only have two main studios and then the ceramic studio. Um, having the knowledge about that, uh, knowing that we might need to span out, knowing what kind of people we are, uh, the different types of things we're involved with, like the outdoor um, exhibit that we're, we've been working on and still haven't finished, just support. Support of all sorts. I teach them drawing. I, I think drawing, drawing or painting are both very social. Um, it's one of those things where you're focusing but not super focusing. So you can talk, you can listen to music. It seems like that kind of social guy. It, with graphic design and stuff, you think really, really hard. You, you go more inside yourself to look more for symbolism rather than drawing or painting what's in front of you. Oh, wow. Um, lots of things. Uh, I actually didn't become a visual artist until I got to Thomas More. I was just creative writing, now I'm both. Um, 
there's some things that you just can't do with words and there's some things you just can't do with visuals. So combining both of them for me is, it, it helps me express everything I am. Like I, I wear different types of clothing and stuff and dye my hair because there's just so much I want to express all the time. So visual art is just another media to do that.